Hi there, this is Ed Steele with, you guessed it, Gadget Madness. And so far, we've backed up our PlayStation 3 Slim. We've installed a new 750 gigabyte Western Digital Drive. Drive's actually in the PlayStation 3, but for illustration. You've installed your Power A media expansion bar, the Tron Monster Power Charging Station, and you've downloaded the ps3updat.pup file to some form of USB removable media. Of course, with the PowerA media expansion bar, you could put that on SD card or Memory Stick Duo or Compact Flash if you're living in 2006. Um, plugged in a PlayStation 3 controller via USB. And one interesting thing about downloading that PS3 update updat.pup file. It has to go into a folder called PS3, has to then go into a subfolder called update, and you have to download it from your browser on a PC directly into that update folder. We've tried um, downloading it to a couple of different USB media drives that was on a Mac. Didn't work. Um, finally, when we tried on a PC, and that's what Sony recommends, it worked. So, one thing to note save yourself some frustration. Of course, if you don't have a PC and you only have a Mac, um, that could be a bit of an issue. In that case, we'd recommend burning it to, um, to CD. Okay, Connect the controller using a USB cable, which we have, and push the PlayStation button. System software cannot be run correctly. This is, of course, because the hard drive 750 gig Western Digital SATA drive that's in there has no operating system. So, I'm going to take our USB drive and that's the USB drive again with the PS3 updat.pup file. Later here in the instructions it says connect storage media that contains update data of version 3.5.6 or later then press start and select at the same time. So we'll press start and select at the same time. The system partition of the hard disk will be formatted. During the format operation, all data on the hard disk may be deleted. Of course, we don't care. It's a brand new drive. To format, press and hold the start and select buttons at the same time for at least five seconds. Of course, you're pressing it on a glowing blue Tron controller. It might take four seconds. Just kidding. Everything's faster on the game grid. And the format begins. All right, got our okay. And we're going to flip through the license agreement and accept and hit enter. Now that the drive, the new drive, has been formatted, we're going to uh, wait while the system update applies. Cue fast forward. Now we're being prompted to plug in a USB controller and hit the PlayStation button. I'm going to select English. Welcome back. The PS3 has been added to the wireless network. 
Let's go ahead and head over to our system settings. Actually, let's see here. Just want to go into the system settings and take a look at the system information. As you can see, our uh, hard drive is much larger with 698 gig showing up as usable uh, with 620 gig of free space. So we're still using um, the basic setup for uh, restoring this PS3 and we want to restore all of the data that we backed up in our initial step. So plug this guy in any of the USB ports and head over here to system settings and we are going to use the backup utility and restore all the data that's been backed up. There's our USB device that the data was backed up to. We'll go ahead and zoom in here a little bit on the screen. Get a better look. This is the only backup on that drive and we are sure we want to restore. And I am pressing the PS button. and now it looks like it is restoring directly from the backup drive. Restore has completed. Press the X button. Okay, let's do that. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. The first thing I notice is that 480p is gone. Data for unregistered users was found on the hard disk and has been restored. Data has been restored for the users listed below. Hey look, all my downloads. Now the funny thing here is that it's saying my name is user1. So I'm obviously going to want to uh, log out, delete the Gadget Madness user that I created and change this user1 to Gadget Madness. So to recap, we have backed up, installed a new hard drive, restored the data. We've got a Tron Monster Power dock keeping our PS3 nice and safe with four charging USB ports. We've got the media bar which adds two additional USB ports and a compact flash as well as an SD slot just in case uh, you wanted to see what those look like when you insert memory cards. That's what the media bar looks like with memory cards inserted. Our memory cards have already shown up on the cross menu bar now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some Killzone 3 to play. I'm Ed Steele, Gadget Madness. Thanks for watching.